Just going to apply thy, thy heart to understanding. If thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou, you see that? If thou incline thine heart, if thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, incline thine ear unto wisdom. Listen to the word of God. Listen to godly men that have gone before you. Listen unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. And then you're going to be wise. Then you're going to make good decisions. Apply your heart on it. Listen, listen, listen. Apply. Apply what you hear to your heart. Apply it. If you don't apply the Word of God, then you're just wasting your time. It just goes in one ear and out the other ear. You don't want to do that. You want it to come in both ears, first of all. And you want it to go down into your heart, into your inner self. That's who you are. And let it take root right there. And right here. In your brain, in your mind. It needs to take root here. And when you do that, then your life will be blessed. You'll honor God. And God will honor you. Your days will be long. And you'll fulfill the calling that God has placed on your life. Amen. If thou criest after, yea, if thou criest after knowledge, lift us, lift us up thy voice for understanding. Knowledge and understanding of the Word of God. Not just knowing science and math and all that stuff. And if God has called you to that you know, as an occupation, then yeah. You know, learn about it, teach it, instruct it. But primarily, you need to know and understand the Word of God. That is priority. And that comes first. And everything else comes second to that. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, again, we're talking about the Word of God here, wisdom. That's where you, that's where you find that's where you become wise. If you do these things, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. If you do those things, if you search out, if you seek out, you cry out the knowledge of the Word of God, lift up your voice for understanding the Word of God, wisdom, incline your ear into wisdom, apply thy heart unto understanding the Word of God. If you seek for her as silver and search for her as hid treasures, that's the Word of God. If you're really diligent, if you treat the Word of God like you're finding gold and silver and precious stones, if you do those things, then you come to verse 5. Then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord. Then you'll understand what it really means to fear the Lord. If you don't do those things, you're never going to understand. You're never going to fear the Lord. If you don't fear the Lord, you're a fool. Your life will not be a blessing. It will be a curse. And find the knowledge of God. Isn't that the goal? To find out God? To really know who He is? Know Him as a person like Moses did? best friends speak one on one and granted God speaks to us through his word his written word because the Bible is complete he doesn't speak audibly anymore he speaks to us through his word we speak to him in prayer we commune with him throughout the day fellowship speaking to him you don't always have to be on your knees to pray by the way you can pray anytime anywhere God's everywhere present he's in your heart he's all around you he hears you sees you, your thoughts, your mind, your heart. For the Lord giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. The Lord does that. But you got to fear him first. He's not going to give you wisdom if you don't fear him. He's not going to give you knowledge if you don't 
seek to know him in his word. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. I'm going to stop right there. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. Sound wisdom. Making good sound decisions. For the righteous. What does it mean to be righteous? It means to be living right. Living rightly. Speaking rightly. Commanding your life in the right path. Yeah. He's a buckler to them that walk uprightly. A buckler. What is that buckler? Well, a buckler, yeah, you know, is a, a fastener. Like your belt buckle. Uh, your belt buckles will hold your belt all around your waist. Uh, it says that God is a buckler to those that walk upright. He holds your life together. Doesn't he? He blesses you, protects you, provides for you, and gives you peace and comfort. Allows you to lay down and sleep at night. Some people can't sleep. It's because they're they're not trusting in the Lord. They got too much on their mind. Worrying about everything. Anxious about tomorrow. The Bible says, Cast all your your anxiety and your care upon him, for he cares for you. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't even worry about today. Just do the best you can. Make the best decisions that, that, that you can. You know. Leave the rest to God. What else can we do? I'm not going to worry myself to the point where I can't sleep. That's ridiculous. If you can't sleep at night, you got a problem. And your problem needs to be resolved in prayer and in, with the Word of God. You're not trusting God is your problem. You're worrying about everything. You're, you're acting like you're God, like you're in control. You ain't in control. You, we don't have any control over other people, over circumstances. We barely have a, a little bit of control over ourselves. Unless the Lord build the house, they that build labor in vain. Right? So I'm going to close in a word of prayer. I hope you learned uh, from these verses that I, that I covered. And uh, on wisdom, you know, it's just such a blessing to, to be wise. I'm not claiming to know everything. I don't. I just know a little bit. Even the little bit that I do know is, is imperfect. But I do know this one thing that in order to be wise, you got to read the Word of God. You got to meditate on it. You got to let it sink into your heart and your life. You got really got to want to be um, obedient to the Word of God. You want to please God. You have, you have to have a desire to please God. You don't have that, and you don't fear the Lord. So, I mean, unless you fear the Lord, you're not going to please Him either. It just works both ways. All right. Let's close the word of prayer, and we'll be finished the next time we resume in Proverbs chapter two and verse eight. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your holy, righteous word, light unto our feet, lamp unto our path. Uh, forgive us, Lord. Uh, of going astray, forgive us not being wise and making poor decisions, Lord, and uh, not meditating on your word, not allowing it to sink into our heart and our life. Uh, God cleanses all these things and uh, filth of the world, the flesh, the devil, uh, creating us clean hearts, renew right minds within us, Lord. We pray you would grant us the grace from now on, from here on out, to apply our hearts on the wisdom, to make wise decisions, and, and to not worry about what other people think, but to stay focused on you and, and your holy and righteous word so we might complete our race and our calling in Christ. 
We give you the glory, honor, and praise. Uh, bless and protect all your little children throughout the world. Uh, Father, we, we pray for them. We protect them, provide for them, keep them safe and warm and dry. And, and God, we just give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Uh, help the widows and the elderly. Lord, we pray you comfort them in their, their old age, their last days, and uh, all who may be suffering uh, for the cause of Christ, physically or spiritually. Uh, Lord, bless them, protect them, and strengthen them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we thank you and praise you and love you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.